you're anything like me, you've been seeing an awful lot of people posting AI-generated images from the new Linsa app on your Facebook feed. And some of the images really are quite pretty. And so, of course, I had to try it for myself. And I found out that the AI-generated version is actually something that is a paid feature. Uh, the free-to-use parts don't actually have that, but they actually do have some pretty interesting features that I've been enjoying. The one thing that's really a little frustrating about it is that you can only have three pictures added to your portfolio per day if you're using free. You can re-edit them if you'd like, but you can only upload three. So if you upload something and then you figure out this doesn't really work. Like this one really didn't work for me because I wasn't wearing anything. My neck looks really short. A anything that I tried to do, it really, it didn't quite work. Whereas this one, uh, it's a little bit better as far as something to use. But it took me, you know, uploading a few things and seeing what worked. And when it, like this one, I don't think it really worked really well either. Um, you know, really, I think the key with using this app is having something with, like, a very graphic, like, pose or portrait, uh, with really interesting, like, see, this is one of my favorite dresses that I have, you know, or, like, this one where I'm wearing a wig, uh, which, this one, I think, is probably a good one to kind of play with the features and, and kind of show, uh, what it can do since it's a kind of interesting picture to begin with. And so it kind of lends itself to a little bit of fantastical elements, as you can see with the version I have right here. And so if you want to, like, re-edit it, you know, you it's already saved. Let's see, I don't think I had anything on there. Backdrop, none. And I think it was on effects, yeah. And they have a lot of different features here. but So we'll just kind of start through. They have a magic retouch. Uh, I, I don't really think that it was necessary for this picture so much. Because I like the lighting in it. So I didn't really use that. But, you know, it's got you know, a pretty good amount of uh, different options. Uh, and also, you know, the magic one. So that you can just sort of automatically do things. Um... Now, this picture is actually one that uh, I've cut out and the background is transparent. That's why it's just black right now. But it does have things like where you can remove the sky or remove backgrounds or, you know, mess around with what's already natively there. Uh, as well as they have all these different, like, weird things. <laughs> and, and pretty good options. There are... In the art styles, there are some that are paid only, but I think the backdrops are all, yeah, they're all in the free-to-use part. And see, they've got some really interesting things. Like, I'm definitely going to enjoy playing around with this, I think. So, for a free-to-use app, yeah, I think I'm going to like it. And then the sky has some pretty cool options, too. I, will it do sky on this one? Yeah. It, if it doesn't think there's a sky, like if it thinks you're indoors, it won't let you replace the sky. <laughs> I found that out with a selfie from indoors. So, But yeah, you can see there's quite a, a lot of different options there. And uh, we'll just, for now, we'll, we'll leave it as is. And uh, go to the effects. And so the thing that I think is really interesting about this is the FX, the FX part has different variations, which is nice, you know. So you can do different things that are similar, different types of snowflakes. I think that's pretty cool. And then they have, like, this one doesn't really look very good with the <laughs> no background because it pinks out the background, but well, they have texture, make it look like an old photograph or something. Uh, 
Oh, I'm pretty pretty good amount of now I found I don't think you can do at least on some of the cases you can't do the FX and the art styles at the same time, I don't think. I'm still kind of playing around with that. But let's see here. These are the really this is the fun part, yeah. And so you can see it kind of they have ones that kind of make it look like a painting. Uh, some of these are uh, paid. If you attempt to use one of the paid ones, uh, what you get is you uh, get something offering you the option to subscribe. So, just in case you wanted to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's uh, several different uh, options here. The The cartoon one doesn't seem to have very many unfree options, which, you know, like that's, I think, a lot like what you're seeing from the the Lensa, um, but this one is really neat. I, I actually really like the Brando one. <laughs> it doesn't look so good on this picture, but it does look on, on a lot of other pictures. I would be very interested to see the the Hepburn or Monroe, um, but I'm not paying for that. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really nice options. I think. Even just within the free, it is a little frustrating when you come across something and you're like, Oh, I like that. That looks interesting. And then you realize that there's a little lock in the corner and you didn't notice it. Like, ah, okay. But there's, there, there's definitely some interesting options there. Not all of them. Like that one, it, it looks very strange. <laughs> but there's, there's, a, there's a whole different... Uh, array of, of different things you can do. The one thing I was a little underwhelmed with was the filters. There's The filters are just very basic, I think. And you go through here and you can just see it's just a little tiny tent, basically. Nothing very exciting there. So, you know. I, I would, I haven't really used the filters for much. Reset that. <laughs> but let's see. It's one I haven't tried yet. Look, this one's free and it's like hiding. Let's, let's get the, the hidden free one. <laughs> They're mushrooms. Yeah, I don't think that's that exciting. <laughs> that's the thing, like, it really depends on each photo. You have to play around with it. Like, I'm 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 interested to see if I can find a, a picture that would work well with that one, because that is interesting. But I think it would be kind of hard to to make it work. Let's see this one. Yeah, not that one. I think I really honestly like the first one I tried. This one, I think it was. Yeah, let's try that one. And then now that we have our backdrop. What would look nice with that? Mm, maybe. I don't know, I don't think it quite works for what I'd like. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like that. All right. So we'll go ahead and save that. And so once it's saved, it'll save a copy onto your device without a watermark. And you can, you know, upload it or further edit it however you want. And then if you go back to your little light portfolio, it's going to look like this. But then you can reset it and redo it as many times as you want. So, um... That is how Linza works as a free app experience, <laughs> as far as I can tell so far in, in my two days of using it. <laughs> so I'm not rating it yet. 